dark night in a city that knows how to keep its secrets. But one man is still trying to find the answers to life's persistent questions. Guy Noir, Private Eye. It was January and Minnesota was in the grip of a polar vortex, a sinkhole of suffering. You walked around the corner of the coffee shop, you felt as like you were in some National Geographic special about a Mongolian tribe living in yurts or something. I was praying for the phone to ring and it sure did. Mr. Noir, it's Eddie Patui. I'm calling from San Francisco. Hey, say no more. I'm on a plane today. I'll be right there. <laughs> I got myself a ticket aboard a no-frills airline called Astral Air. Boom, boom. Welcome to our astral plane. As you can see, there are no seats, only mats. And for takeoff, I would like you to lie down on your backs with your knees up to your chin the happy turtle pose, <laughs> taking deep breaths, and in the three hours that we will be together as a community, we hope to heal and renew and bring you to California with a positive power flow. <laughs> boom, boom. This is your pilot speaking. Wow, this is so incredible, man. I am flying already. I am so thankful to all of you folks, and when we reach our cruising altitude, I'm gonna come around and give out a lot of big hugs, okay? I was looking for Eddie Patui. It was an address on Russian Hill, and I walked by a dry cleaners, and somebody reached out and they grabbed me by the arm. Hey, your name Norse? No, no. Don't make me resort to force. You, Norse? Of course not. No, I... Look at him, Boris. Is this the man on the horse? That's Doris. Doris? Mr. Norse, you drive a Morris? I drive a Taurus. Not him, Lawrence. Okay, okay. you beat it. Right. You darken our doors again, I'll give you a refresher course in remorse. All right. Eddie Patui had a one-bedroom apartment with a stunning view of the Golden Gate Bridge and Mount Tamalpais. I, uh, I signed a lease on this apartment a year ago for $1,200 a month. Uh -huh. Now the lease is up, and a guy from Google has offered her $240,000 a month. Oh, I see, really? Yes. Aren't there uh, some kind of laws against this? Well, I guess not. Oh, really? How can, they, how can the rent get raised so much? Well, I mean, the guy at Google says he likes the view from the kitchen window. Oh, come on. This, yes. is, this is about something more than scenery. Oh? No. Does the, does the name Norse uh, ring a bell with you? Norse? Uh, no. Oh, oh. Anyway, the Google guy's got the money, and uh, you don't. Well, I mean, how much money do you earn, anyway? Well, that depends. Every month is different. Oh, so you work freelance. Hmm, huh? yeah. Huh? Where are my glasses? As a matter of fact, I do. I'm a ghostwriter. I uh, ghostwrite sermons, and I ghostwrite apologies for politicians. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yes. Aren't you on a diet? That's interesting. Quite a, quite a parrot you've got here. Huh? Oh, uh, he's not mine. He came with the apartment, oh, so... Quite a talker. Yes, he is. Shirley, you call this a martini? See what I so, mean? Yeah. Uh, you write apologies for politicians. Oh, huh? yeah. There's a real art to it, uh -huh. uh, being contrite while you blame other people. Sure, yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. I wrote one the other day. Uh, hey, hey, listen, let me go find the video. I'll be right back. Okay, all right. You want to ask me about a guy named Norse? Yeah? The guy who's he owned the apartment before. Really? Worked on an app called Critter. An app called Critter? Google offered him $10 million for it. Uh-huh. He said no, and then he went away. With his girlfriend. Uh -huh. I don't know where. This Critter app, uh, are you using it right now? I am. Uh -huh. And so is that dog over there. Hi, the name's Matt. He was a beagle. He was kind of old, kind of a gray muzzle. And he was holding a 45 automatic. I got an itchy paw, mister. So if I were you, I'd head out that door and don't come back. Easy, man. Easy, man. I, I can take a hint, you two. 
You take care, okay? Nice meeting you. All right. Adios. I went and I talked to the landlady, and she was not sympathetic. Hey, hey, look. A guy walks in and offers me a quarter million to rent an apartment. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Say no and put in my application for sainthood? Yeah, I don't think so. You, uh, by any chance, remember a guy named Norse? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Weird guy. Stayed in his apartment day after day. I see. So so yeah. he, uh, so he's had the apartment right before Eddie Patui, huh? Yeah, 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 you, that's you, right. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a picture of Mr. Norse, would well, you? Well, let me go see. I'll be right back. Okay. She left the room, and something moved over in the corner. And I saw it was a cat. Uh, out the door, Mr. Noir. That way, and hurry up. We went outside, and there was a VW Beetle parked there, motor running. Matt the Beagle standing on the sidewalk next to the Beetle, wearing goggles. Oh, get in the car, Mr. Noir, if you know what's good for you. Who are you? I'm with a software company named Giggle. Not Google? Now, the Beagle used to be with go Google. I see. What's, what's your name, then? Arugula. Arugula. And the goggles, those are Google goggles? Oh, quadruple eagle eye goggles to see the inscrutable. Come on, in the car. In, you want me in the VW Beetle? Then? That's right. Oh, behind the wheel, you want me to drive? Okay. A Google-eyed beagle and a cat named Arugula and me and a beetle. You know so too much, Mr. Noir. Oh, okay. You see that hill up ahead? I mean the steep, almost vertical hill going down to the bay? <laughs> Good luck. You've got no brakes. What? <laughs> and the beagle gave the beetle a push. And down the hill I went at high speed. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, oh, the bus came right in front of me. I scraped around it. Barely missed a funeral procession. Going 60 miles an hour. Just missed the cable car. Flew over the hill, straight down. Whoa! Through the next intersection, hit some garbage cans. Side swiped the parked car. And over the hill, and I flew into the air. And there was a truck straight ahead with a load of sourdough bread. Landed on the bread. And I turned it into matzo wafers. And I got out of the door, out of the car, opened the door, walked away. Not bad driving for a guy who wasn't even from here, I'd say. <coughs> Way to handle the car, mister. Okay, I'm not talking to any more animals, okay? Uh, you got a cough drop, mister? Oh. <laughs> I'm a little hoarse. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. Oh. What did you find out, Mr. Noir? Do I get to keep my apartment or what? Well, Mr. Patui, uh, Mr. Norris found a way to translate animal speech. Hmm. Yeah. And Google thinks that he left the formula here in your apartment. Oh? And if they find it, then Google will basically control the Earth. Wow. Have the whales in the sea, the birds in the sky, the birds. bears in the woods, Gee. you know? It's too late, Noir. We're taking over. No, no, no. You humans are on your way out. I could, I could see the parrot who was looking at a little radio sitting on the kitchen table. And I could see a blinking red light inside him. I mean, let me, let me see that radio. I, I pressed the dial and... Welcome to Critter. Please state your password. Norse. I'm sorry, I do not recognize that. Woof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Woof. Mm -hmm. Hey. Bingo. Lucky guess, mister. Do you wish to change your password? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, no, please don't do that. <laughs> no, Pisca Katawata Quadimon. Oh. <laughs> please repeat the password. Pisca Katawata Quadimon. Oh. Your password is saved. <laughs> I'll get you if it's the last yeah. thing I do. Curses, <laughs> Matt. Everything we dreamed of, it's gone. Oh. It's gone. <laughs> what happened? Mr. Patui. Yes? I think you can keep your apartment, and I think San Francisco is not going to the dogs for a while. Oh, anyway. good. I walked out the door, and there was the cat looking sullen. She was trying to say something, and who knows what it might be. I didn't care. I looked for a cab to the airport, and there was Mr. Norse sitting on the sidewalk with a sign 
Please help a former tycoon, a dollar, even 50 cents, appreciate it. I put in a 20 and then a 50. Oh, wow. Thanks. You're welcome. You need any help with algorithms or anything? No, huh? I, I've got all the algorithms I need. Good luck, pal. <laughs> See ya. A dark night and a city that knows how to keep its secrets. But one man is still trying to find the answers to life's persistent questions. Guy Noir, Private Eye. Tim Russell, Sue Scott, Mr. Fred Newman.